All right, so will Chinese New Year affect your Shopify dropshipping business? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society is out for us to do. So to kind of jump right into it, there's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of different people's takes on you know the Chinese New Year and kind of how it will affect you know obviously your Shopify dropshipping business. The reason why obviously it's a, something to be aware of is because us dropshippers get all of our products from AliExpress. All our suppliers on AliExpress are obviously you know in China and obviously they're going to be taking a break around the Chinese uh, Chinese holiday. But it isn't something that you know it's like super crazy and you can't work around. So you know I kind of I pulled up this article actually from Oberlo.com. For those of you guys that don't know Oberlo.com or the Oberlo app, uh, they're actually it's actually one of the best apps for Shopify dropshipping. It makes, really makes it a lot easier for you to get your products from AliExpress and put them onto your Shopify store, right? The import process makes it a lot easier than you having to do it, you know, like the old school method. So if you guys aren't using Oberlo, make sure you take advantage of it. So I got this article right from their website. You guys can actually look it up yourselves as well. It's actually right on there. And it kind of broke down a little bit about the truth behind the Chinese holiday and how you can prepare and work around it. So I thought I'd pull the article up, kind of go through it with you guys, and also, you know, kind of give you guys my take on how I'm I'm planning on you know go working around the holiday so to kind of get started there's been some rumors talking about how you know the Chinese holiday and Chinese New Year is supposed to be like three months long that's actually not accurate um, based on you know Oberlo. they came in contact with the suppliers and what's actually going on is you know Chinese holiday and Chinese New Year is not three months long it's actually a week long and at most two weeks long a majority of all the suppliers you know they'll be taking their week long obviously it's a it's a holiday for them so obviously we have to respect that but there's nothing to really be worried about you can obviously work around it so that was the first thing i kind of wanted to touch on so one of the ways you can easily you know prepare for the chinese new year right everybody's supplier is going to be different every single supplier you know is obviously going to work around a different time frame they're going to start their new years at a different date than the other or they might all start at the same time regardless what you guys want to do is for your supplier for your product what you want to do is just reach out to them beforehand right so if you know that chinese new year it's supposed to be on February 16th, right? I would start reaching out to them now. That's actually what I'm planning.